Are you stocking up? Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you guys are here to see another haul. So, what are you guys stocking up? What are you guys making sure you have just in case all this stuff goes south? Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. And um, I know it's getting kind of bad, kind of um, crazy. And what are you stocking up on? So, me, I went to the store tonight and when I just needed a few things and I spent $200. Does that happen to you? Happened to me. Well, so if you guys don't know this about me, I'm a little bit of like a prepper at heart. So there was some stuff that I really didn't need to stock up on. Like I already had a lot of water and things like that. Um, I, I like to have a lot of things on hand. I like to have doubles. Um, I'm just kind of like a prepper at heart. Like I always have been. It's just, it's just me. It makes me feel better. It helps calm my anxiety. Um, so I didn't need a whole lot. So this is kind of a fun stock up, if you will. Tonight for dinner, we are having um, like a barbecue sandwich and my son really wanted cheese fries. I have no idea, we were doing school today and he was like, really wanted cheese fries. This kid never asks for hardly anything. Like he's just not a kid, he doesn't ask for toys. Like he doesn't ask for stuff. That's just not his, in his nature, I guess. I don't know, he's just never been like that. So he was asking for cheese fries and I was like, sure, we can, I can run to the store and get some frozen french fries and we can make cheese fries. So that was the thought behind this and then I did get a few things and stocked up on a few things because you just never know, right? So let me show you my stock up haul. Yesterday I did get some hand soap and things like that but I kind of keep a stock on that anyway. So there wasn't a whole bunch of stuff that I needed to stock up on. Um, but I did buy hand soap and things like that. I know there's not hand sanitizer, but really working in the medical field for so long, like I really prefer soap over hand sanitizer any day of the week. So it's just how it goes. So without further ado, let me get on to what I got. So these are all the groceries. And then over here was the stuff I bought for the house. This was crazy expensive over here. I'll try to total it up so you guys have a pretty accurate idea, but it was probably, it was really expensive, but it was just the kind I wanted. I, the thing, I actually forgot some buttermilk and that was one of the things that was on my list and I don't know how I overlooked it, but um, I wanted, so I thought if I was getting buttermilk, I would get a pie crust to make buttermilk pie and I will link my recipe here for that um, it's kind of an older video but oh my gosh it's so good such a crowd pleaser and so stinking easy back here I got mayo because we wanted to make some homemade ranch uh, Neapolitan ice cream because my son I was like should we get ice cream and he said yeah we should get chocolate and I was like uh so I got Neapolitan <laughs> we have kind of a stock up of cereal so I just got some frosted mini wheat the Publix brand to stock up on that uh my refrigerator has been acting so weird y'all so the lettuce i had kind of froze and all this stuff has been going on so i went ahead and bought some new lettuce because i really really wanted a salad so tonight i'll probably make a salad for myself too and i got this hearts of romaine because i knew this could keep for a while strawberries were really good sale probably because they're in season um, they were three three of these for five dollars so I just got strawberries and we'll cut them up and eat them eat them up uh, this is something that is at um, Publix they're four for five dollars so they're like a dollar twenty five they're dipping dots and I love this one the banana split is my favorite I really don't like any of the other ones so it's just kind of a splurge for myself Back here, we were talking about how we didn't have snacks or anything, and um, I had not been buying a lot of snacks or anything like that, so I thought I would stock up a little bit on some of that, because I have stocked up, if you, I'll link some other grocery hauls here. I've just recently stocked up on meat and frozen vegetables, so I had all that, no problem. Got some granola bars for my guy. He really wanted to try the cheese it snapped. And we got the regular Cheez-Its because they were buy one, get one free. 
Um, that's what I love about Publix, so there's a lot of good deals like that. Got him some goldfish. Um, we actually got some Rice Krispies because we were going to make Rice Krispie treats, and then we forgot to get marshmallows. What can you do? Got some Publix brand Ritz crackers uh, for making uh, like homemade Lunchables. Uh, we needed this for the homemade ranch. And so I decided to just get a four pack because there was something else I needed a pack for too. Uh, he asked for Capri Suns and I told you like he never asked for anything. So I was like, um, yeah, sure. So I let him pick out one cause I figured they were more expensive than what they are at Walmart. These I thought were just fun. Um, so we got some iced shamrock cookies and some regular shamrock cookies. So this will just be a fun thing just to have. They're of course like overpriced and all that, but just fun to have treats every now and then. Got some block cheese because when we're gonna make these cheese fries, I knew that if we shredded our own cheese that it would melt better. Speaking of cheese fries, there was a whole controversy on which kind of fries we should get. So I let him pick and he was having such a hard time deciding, but he decided that crinkle was the way to go because he thought the cheese would seep in better or get in the grooves, I guess. I don't know. Another random stock up, Pop-Tarts. Will Pop-Tarts ever go bad? Probably not. So I know that's terrible, but you know what? If you gotta be stocked up, you should be stocked up with good things too, right? So what we're trying to do is make the Outback cheese fries and I didn't feel like making bacon but I told him you know what I heard that there was make bacon that was already ready and we'll get some at the store and so you just like microwave it and it's ready I guess I'm not sure um, but this says microwave ready in pouches I don't know if it's exactly what I was looking for but it was really expensive y'all so I'm gonna have to look at other grocery stores and see how people do this because I'm just thinking this might not be very cost effective because um, my kid he likes to have bacon in the morning but you know here and there not all the time but I don't like to cook it I feel like it takes a long time so um, this was $8.99 yeah you hurt me that's crazy right one thing I did get is I went ahead and got some children's Advil um, because we had gone through basically all of our stash and I only have one child so I just got this one. We had plenty of adult medicine stocked up so I wasn't really worried about that and this thing was viral anyway. But I did want to have something on hand in case. So this wasn't very expensive, I think $5.99. I, just, I knew I could get a better price at a different store but with everybody stocking up, I just wasn't sure what was gonna be available. So I just grabbed it while it was there. Back here, a lot of random things. Um, when I was by the lettuce, I saw these two uh, dressings and I wanted to try one. So this is Homestyle Ranch and this is Avocado Ranch. I think that'd be really good. We've been eating a ton of salads. My guys eat carrots and ranch all the time. They're better than chips. That's what they eat all the time. And so these were kind of pricey. They were like $4.99 each, but I just thought I was tired of running out of salad dressing. You know when you're just sick of running out of something? You're just like, I don't care. <laughs> this is the milk that we drink. It's really good. Helps everybody in my house who has stomach issues be able to drink the milk. And yeah, it's, it's good. Um... My husband was like, get milk while you're going, and usually we would just get one because we have a small family, family of three, um, but while I was there, I just decided to get two just in case. Uh, tip, organic milk lasts a whole bunch longer. This is like filtered organic milk, and that's why it helps everyone's belly problems around here, but um, organic milk will last for like a month, and that's why I started buying it a long time ago because we would just throw away milk and I just thought it was terrible that we were throwing away milk and so I started buying organic basically for that reason when my son was like a baby baby like one like when he started drinking milk uh, this was only $3.99 disinfecting wipes at Publix I honestly I just needed some for around my house and I was like, oh no, I'm not going to be able to get them or something. So I stocked up and got a big thing of them. I'm sure this will be fine for us. We have a ton of cleaning products, so I just don't worry about that at all. 
And these were my splurge items. I have been eyeing these for a while and they were kind of expensive, but they're really heavy duty and I liked that they were this gray color. So, um, like this is a utensil holder. It was like $6.59 and then I got um, these in mind for like, um, like whisks and things and tongs and all that kind of stuff because I just have a mess going on right now with that. I got one really long one because we have a couple of big things like that we use for barbecuing and I'm hoping this is going to fit in my drawer. If it doesn't fit in my drawer, I'm going to take it back to Publix because it was probably like $6.50 at least each one of these things. And so they're, you know, added up super quick. The other thing, I got these at Publix hmm, a week or two ago now and I really, really like them. I like how big they are. I like how they work. I like the thickness. I like the um, texture and I just, I just really liked it. It's so, it sounds weird, but when you just really like something, I was like, okay, this is worth it. Each one of these towels was $4.79, but I just moved, stocked up. Funny thing is like when I really stock up on kitchen towels is usually like when I move. Hopefully this is my forever house. So, you know, It'll probably be a while before I do that again, but now I have four of them. I feel better about it. I was running out and I was just not liking that. So um, even though they were a little pricey, I really like that they were an extra large. And when you find a product you like, it's better to stock up. Here is the gold, you guys. Look at this. This is the brand of paper towels that I always buy. I love Scott. I bought some in my grocery haul that I'll link here. Love Scott, always have loved Scott. Um, for probably 10 years now, I've been buying the same brand. Um, I don't always buy the same brand of toilet paper, but I do like this one. So I like the Scott, and this is the Scott like Comfort, like it has the ripples in it. Um, you can get Scott, I've ordered it um, for like Walmart pickup and got the wrong one that's like super thin and awful. So you just have to make sure you're getting the right one. These were there, there was tons of toilet paper there, no big deal, tons of paper towels, no big deal. The toilet paper was $7.99 on sale. So uh, yeah, perfect, right? So I guess I really just stocked up on paper towels, toilet paper, medicine, that's really it. Um, it wasn't anything crazy that I stocked up on. I stocked up on snacks. And like I said, because I was a little bit of a prepper before, I had already stocked up on some stuff. So uh, what are you stocking up on? And I like this idea that I didn't have to like go out and stock up on so much because I always kind of do that and I have stuff on hand. So it makes me feel better about those kind of decisions that I've made. But what are you stocking up on? What do you really need right now? What are you needing you can't find right now? Are you having a hard time finding like paper towels and toilet paper? I mean, I'm just I'm just curious what what's everybody else doing out there? So let me know in those comments below and I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Bye for now.